Hi everybody, welcome back to Just Dream Guy. Okay, so you guys know how this goes. Channel messages first. Okay, first and foremost, it is a full moon today or tonight, okay, going into tomorrow. A super full moon, all right? Y'all, y'all know I, I, I describe the super full moon is because we sit on the axis and the, the moon rotates around it, okay? So the moon appears closer to us because it is, okay? So super full moon means it's big, it's closer to us. This is the last one of 2023. The full moon right now is gonna be, in, it's a harvest moon, okay? Harvest moon means harvest time. I know there's a reason why I've been talking about abundance so much and you know, just so much, so much, so much coming into you, so much coming in. I'm hearing in, influx of abundance, income. Okay, um, but the full moon is in Aries. Aries is that sign that's just, you know, passionate about life. It's ruled by Mars, so it's like, you know, passionate. It's go get them. It's, it's about that action, okay? So this super full moon is about to be action-driven. That's why I'm seeing a lot of connections coming in around this time. I, I, I just kept saying, you know, full moon Libra, full moon Libra. Like, not like in Libra, but in Libra season, this full moon that's in Libra season super super special okay almost as special as that blue moon that we just had okay but super full moon that we're having this harvest moon in aries so bunch of bunch of action in the air remember during the full moon we get rid of the things that no longer serve us so the negative traits about a, um aries is that they're aggressive they're combative they, they use that energy sometimes and it's a fire sign so sometimes the fire can warm you but sometimes the fire can scorch you so be careful of your words. Be careful of what you speak. Be careful of what you claim in your mind to be true. Father's saying that he's using this full moon to get rid of illusions. Big, big illusions. Everything's got to go. You're releasing illusions and pain at this moment. Okay? So this, this full moon is very, very important. Releasing stuff. It's harvest time. I'm here in claims department, all right? Like, not the claims department where you have to pay somebody or whatever. Okay? This, I'm talking about lottery winning claims department. Hi, can I speak to the claims department? Yes, I'm here to collect. Okay, you know, how you want your bills? How do you want <laughs> that kind of thing? That's what I'm hearing in my head, okay? That's what I'm hearing in my heart. So get ready to claim your blessings. Get ready to claim everything, the abundance. In all areas, I always tell y'all that peace, prosperity, love, joy, all of that. There's a reason why people keep saying that this is going to be a special time of the year because it is. And so many people are scared because it's ho our holidays are coming in, right? So it's ruling in, like all of this stuff is like, oh my gosh, you got divine masculine freaking out because they're like, I got to get my life together before these holidays come rolling in. Most of them have long ago put away the need to be celebratory during the holiday season. To be real with you guys, okay? I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm seeing that divine masculines have really, really let go of the feeling of Christmas. They've let go of the feeling of Thanksgiving. They've let go of the feeling of being a kid during Halloween. So they're not as into it as divine feminines are. They're not as into it, you know, because they kind of turned off their heart for a while. And I'm hearing somebody's turning off their heart, but they, they're reactivating. I'm hearing reactivation. That's what this big transformation is about. Reactivation, all right? So they're reactivating their life at this moment. So just keep that in mind. I'm hearing Divine Feminine, there's a need for a lot of, lot, a lot of self-care. So remember to take care of yourself, especially during this high volume energy. Full moons bring high volume energy. A lot of people do spell work and stuff like that during the full moon. Stay away from that kind of stuff. Actually stay inside. At nighttime, there is a very high influx of people going to the emergency room on the full moon. That is scientifically and statistically proven. So I always tell people to stay at home. Be safe. Be careful. There's no reason to go outside with crazy. All right? So just get some self-care. Last night, I really did my coconut oil on my hair, you know, because this is my real hair, you know, not to be bragging or nothing like that. You got to take care of yourself in order for it to... To, for you to get through a journey because you know hair journey right in order for you to get through any journey father's saying take care and that means extra care extra extra care so i alternate between coconut oil and olive oil but extra extra self-care might want to take a bath tonight you might want to just go outside and watch the the full moon you might want to just you know uh, sit outside and feel the breeze Chill out, have a nice uh, non-alcoholic uh, <laughs> cocktail. You know, kind of spritzer, something to get you in the mood, something to get your energy up. 
something to just heal. Tea, tea is important, so drink some tea. Things like that will help you with really big self-care. That's important right now because I'm hearing that you're getting crowned. You've passed a lot of tests and now it's time to get the recognition for it, the rewards for it. Think about it. It's like somebody saying, all right, I'm about to introduce you at a ceremony. You are the guest of tonight. How would you take care of yourself if you like got this big speech to make? And you know, that's what I need y'all to do, all right? Divine feminine and divine masculine. I need y'all to take care of yourself just as if somebody just invited you to speak in front of the world. That is how big this reward is. And it's coming through love, it's coming through abundance, but you have to make the right choices. Remember the battle is not yours. You've won, but the battle is not yours, it's the Lord's. All that fighting and pushing and prodding that you do, you resist change. And when you resist change, you just keep going back into a cycle. It's like playing Mario or Sega or you know whatever, Sonic. It's like playing, and you know, once you fail the test, once you fail that level, you gotta go right back to where you were. Right before you fail, that you go right back to that. So think of it like that. I know life is not a Nintendo game, but think about it like that. You got to keep going back to it if you don't make the right choices. So Father's only asking you to make the right choices. Treating people right. Doing unto others as they would do unto you. The golden rule. We all learned that. The golden rule. Treat people how you want to be treated. And then you get rewarded for it. No matter what, even if people make you mad, even if people upset you, because remember that Aries full moon, you might feel combative, you might feel like you want to fight, you might feel like a brawl, like, you know, but Father's saying react in love, react out of love. You can't control people, you can only control your reaction to people, react out of love, because fear is just an illusion. Fear is false evidence appearing real. And I always say falsified evidence because people will try to play with your mind. It's falsified evidence. Somebody else created that evidence. And then you take that evidence and you run with it and you go, oh my gosh, you know. So you're resisting, you're, you're believing in the, the illusion that they created for you. So get out of that illusion. Have hope, have peace. Because when you have hope and we have faith in the situation, you have peace. You don't worry about it too much. If you have a test that's coming up and you have peace about it, you don't worry about it. You don't be anxious about it like, oh my gosh, this test is coming, this test is coming, this test is coming. Father's saying, chill, relax, take care of yourself, self-care. You're about to get crowned for all your efforts. And even if you just got on the bandwagon of getting it together, because I'm seeing Divine Masculine, y'all are trying really hard to get your life in order. And Father is saying that he's rewarding you for that, just for you to make that decision to change your life, for you to make the decision to leave a karmic situation, for you to make the decision to leave karmic um, behaviors such as alcoholism, drugs, whatever the case may be, you're getting rewarded for that. You get rewards for doing the right thing. Even if it's the last minute, at the last second, you're getting rewarded. Because Father's saying that he calls on the, the broken, the, the people who really can testify and say that I've gone through this, but you've gone through it. Remember when I say you go through things, you got to go through it. That means you reach the end. That means you come out. So when you go through these behaviors and these karmic behaviors, and even dealing with karmic people, you got to get out. The whole point is to see the light, go towards the light, and feel refreshed, feel free. I'm seeing somebody feels free now. Releasing the fear of, you know, of time, releasing the fear of people, releasing the fear of what people say. You have to release. Because Father says, no matter what, you've been called. So you have on-the-job training, and it's paid training. Can you imagine, like, having paid on-the-job training? You're not qualified you know, or you don't feel qualified. Father says he's qualified you. No matter what he's called you to do, you're qualified. So if you, you know, make things or create things or you're a speaker or whatever the case may be, don't fear the change that's happening around you. He's called you for a reason, all right? You might be seeing angel numbers 1111, 333, 444. 1111 is manifesting. 333 is protection. 444 is all as well. All right, and I just heard that song "Times Are Wasting" by Erica Badu. She say, "Run, baby, run, run, where you're running to and who you're running from." It's time to stop running, okay? It's time to stop running, okay? Stop running from the things and responsibilities in life. He has your back. The battle's not yours, so that means stand up and fight for this. So that's what I have for you all. I hope this information helped and blessed. 
let's go to the videos for today divine masculine let's see what's going on with you today divine masculine let's see let's see let's see divine masculine all righty divine masculine father says stop running stop running stop running stop running it's time to face your demons face your fears that's what i hear your situation is emotional loss you're feeling emotional right now. It's time to get to the point of acceptance. This is the five stages of grief for me. The five stages of grief, the five of cups. So that means whatever you're going through, it's time to get to the point of acceptance. Accepting the situation that you're in, even if you created it yourself. There's an emotional loss here. You're feeling very emotional, very, very uh, vulnerable. And you don't like feeling that way. So you're getting ready to run. And Father says, stop running, face your fears. Face your fears. You're not used to using your emotions. Action. Action. What's the action, Father? Balance. Okay? The justice card. You need to start balancing yourself when it comes to this. The justice card. Balancing yourself. Balancing the scales. He's making things right for you. But he had to... Some of the things that you're going through, like I keep saying, is karmic justice. You had to go through these things. Because you created this monster. You felt like you could go and do anything and anything and anything to buy masculine and the father said no. So you had to come see him and he's balancing your life for you. It may be painful. Whatever, whatever your penalty was, it may be painful. But father saying that he had to do this because you were unstoppable at some point. You kept running and you were running into the wrong things. Father saying that you were running into problems, but you were running into problems that you created. Outcome, what's the outcome for the masculine father? Ooh, harmony, love. This is the lover's card. <laughs> harmony, that's your outcome. Once you finish your sentence, that's what Father says, because the justice card comes as you're, you're, you're serving a sentence right now, be it community service, be it something, you know, in your life that was, you know, traumatic, such as, you know, I'm seeing all kinds of things. The karmic got you, did you dirty, did you wrong? I'm seeing some people dealing with, you know, having to deal with the pregnancy. Are they pregnant? Are they not pregnant? STD. You know, like I keep saying, I'm seeing these things. STDs, if there were any, you, you got burnt because you had to slow down. That was your sentence. Um, legal problems, that was your sentence. You had to slow down. Alcohol, drugs, whatever, you had to slow down. And Father's saying, now you're paying the price. And now it's time to just balance your life. Understand that Father has you when it comes to love. Your outcome is to serve your time and to go back to the person that you love. Love is on your brain. And it's about to grow you, Divine Masculine. The underlying energy is spiritual strength. This is growing you spiritually, whether you know it or not. At some point in life, you're going to appreciate this. I'm hearing that most of you all are going through the point of life where you are starting to appreciate some of the trials that you're going through because it is spiritually building you, which is emotionally building you as well. Because you feel like you carry the world on your back, on your shoulders, okay? Father's telling me to pull two cards. So victory and success is here. And facing your shadow, once you face your fears, you have victory and success. See, I can't y'all this is the moon card too by the way so the moon the full moon is very very important here there's victory and success through spiritual strength all right let's get a moon card speaking of let's get a moon card for you divine masculine i haven't used these moon cards in so long so for the full moon the last super moon of 2023 let's see it says stay strong be a guiding light ground yourself be love it says be love so you can gain love you got to operate through love you got to have love exuding throughout everything i'm hearing all your pores okay stay strong stay strong in this make the correct and proper decisions this time that's what father is really emphasizing you know if you're sleeping with a karmic partner you are still not making the right choices you're still not making the right choices if you're out there doing whatever still drinking you're still not making the right choices father's saying he's saying make the right choices or you'll be back serving some more time you'll be stuck in a karmic loop and father's saying let it go 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 all right let's get a tarot card okay let's get a tarot card and then i'm here divine purpose so we're gonna get one of these purpose cards because i for some reason i got that out too temperance all right balancing yourself Balancing the good and the light and the darkness. Balancing yourself. That comes in this card too, the shadow card. Balancing yourself. And the temperance card is having patience, but the temperance card is also talking about addictions. 
It talks about balancing your addiction, balancing your life, keeping away from things that are, you know, that you're pouring into. And then right underneath this shadow card, look, is foundations in harmony. You want love. You want a loving family. You want a loving family. So Father is saying, choose wisely when it comes to this. Choose wisely. Keep. He says, make the right choices this time. I cannot make this up. I'm here. Make the right choices this time because he's trying to give you a victory in this, in love. And that's what you truly want. So Father is saying, trust the angels. Trust that, you know, you need to be facing your shadow side. Trust, trust, trust. Because balance is needed here. Balance. I cannot make this up. You feel like at an emotional loss, but Father's saying he's trying to get you out of things because you have a purpose in life. Your purpose is way bigger than what you keep doing. Your purpose is so big. So even when it comes to a karmic partner, when it comes to alcohol, drugs, whatever the case may be, whatever you were doing, see my hand is itching. Whatever you were doing, let it go. Because it's time to get out of that. Okay, it says you're already doing it. This is your purpose card here. It says you're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. So if you, if, like I said, keep doing what you're doing, letting things go, letting this karmic partner go. That doesn't mean have sex with them every now and then. That doesn't mean dibbling, dabbling, weed or drugs or whatever the case may be every now and then. It says keep doing what you're doing. Keep letting it go. Keep releasing these ties that are binding you. Keep seeking balance. Father's saying keep seeking life's balance. Stop over overthinking. Keep facing your true north. And your true north has to do with love. Okay? But I want you guys to see this card because I cannot make this up. That's what Father's telling me. Let's get a twin flame card and then we'll see what you want to tell your divine feminine. But remember to face your demons. Face those fears. Fear is false evidence appearing real. It's not real, divine masculine. So stop fearing a situation. Stop fearing coming forward with the truth. Stop fearing yourself. Keep facing your true north. What you've been called to do. Look, karmic ties. Like I said, I, I don't know why I keep seeing this. It's in your energy, divine masculine. It says, my or your children need to come first. Trust that they are part of our plan. And an alternate meaning of this card is also your inner child. It says, our inner children need to come first. So you're focusing on your children right now, Divine Masculine. And Father says, keep focusing on your children. Don't, <laughs> don't add drugs or alcohol or a karmic partner to the equation. Father says, keep your body pure. I'm keep, I keep hearing body, your body, your whole body. That's what temperance is about, your body. Your physical body. I'm talking about eating better. I'm talking about drinking more water. I'm talking about doing right. I'm talking about major, major self-care when it comes to your body. Your mental your spiritual realm of yourself. Father's saying, take care of yourself right now. Focus on yourself. Don't be sexually active. Don't drink. Don't drug. I can't emphasize those three things enough because you're on the right path. Don't get triggered to where, you know, your sexual desires overtake you or your desire to drink or your desire to do a drug overtakes you. Father's saying, you're on the right path. Keep on the right path. Stay strong. All right, stay strong. This card flipped over. What would you like to tell your divine feminine? King of Cups, I want to give you my heart. So you're opening your heart up to even say this, divine masculine. Your heart is opening. Your heart is opening. And look at this heart chakra. Look, look at this love card, how he's pulling her closer. Like, you want to be close to your divine feminine. Your heart chakra is activating. So keep it active. Don't add anything negative to it, all right? As the moon card says, coming for you for the full moon, it says, stay strong. Be a guiding light. Ground yourself. Your body needs to be grounded. Don't add other energies to your energy. Ground yourself. That means don't listen to people either. Don't listen to people's talk, whatever they got to do, because you got the moon card. Face yourself. That's what I have for you, Divine Masculine. I hope this information helped and blessed. Let's go to Divine Feminine. Thank you so much. Divine Feminine, let's see what's going on with you today, Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine, all right, for your full moon energy. I'm hearing just lots and lots of self-care, extra self-care for you, Divine Feminine. Extra self-care, like I said, going outside with tea, um, you know, grounding yourself as well. Divine Masculine needs to ground themselves, but so do you. This is very, very important. This is our last super moon, the last of the heightened energy, all right? So let's see, situation for Divine Feminine, what's the situation? Spiritual union. <laughs> But remember, union does not come in until you're aligned. So stay in alignment with Father. It's so funny because I'm seeing Divine Feminine that you are in alignment 
but the key is to stay there. You know, healing is not a not a like fix all like oh I'm healed. It's a journey. You gotta keep stabilizing. It's like walking a tightrope, and you gotta keep stable. If you lose for one second sight of what you want, boom, there you go falling. So Father's saying, stay in alignment because if you've been seeing two 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 a lot, spiritual union is here. Spiritual union is here. Your masculine just has a little bit more to go. They're facing their fears, okay? That's what I'm hearing right now. They're facing their fears. Your action is accelerated motion. Look how fast it's happening. <laughs> this is the eight of wands, okay? You know that shh, all those arrows coming in and look at the sky. I told you all, during the full moon in Libra, this Libra season, what? Because the full moon is in Aries and doesn't that look like fire coming out the sky? All right, happening quickly for you divine feminine whether you know it or not whether you want to trust it or not father says trust in yourself stay in alignment with yourself be prepared for anything that's why he's asking you to have self-care 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 and then we got our outcome is temptation y'all better leave that temptation alone anything that's tempting y'all want to go see y'all want to go watch y'all want to go see like what's going on over there and when is that coming back and when and when and when your ego is huge right now divine feminine Stay out of your ego. I know some of you all are seeing some of these people talk like, you know, us readers. We're all saying the same thing because the energy is the same. I can't make this up. The cards just come out. So the energy is the same that this is coming in. But remember not to obsess over this. Remember not to obsess over this. I can't emphasize that enough, Divine Feminine. That's why Father's saying focus on you. Take care of you. Self-care is very important. Taking care of you. Instead of obsessing over what or who or, you know, scroll. Take care of yourself. Like last night, like I said, I, I oiled my hair. I watched, you know, uh, I didn't really watch TV. I haven't been doing that very often. But like, I'm sitting there with like three or four laptops in front of me. I'm doing work. I'm doing, do things to occupy your mind. That's what Father's saying. Because the devil's play, playground is trying to play with you. Don't let your mind become the devil's playground, all right? Uh, bottom of the deck, energy is emotional withdrawal. You have to pull back from this. You have to release this. Even if there is something that's coming in really soon, let it be a surprise because you have to let go. You have to emotionally let this go. That's what Father's saying because if you obsess over it, remember when you chase something, all it does is run away. So stop chasing. Confirmation birth. Stop chasing it. Emotional withdrawal. Stop chasing the emperor. This is authority. This is the emperor here. Discipline yourself enough to let go of the thought of divine masculine. Divine masculine, divine masculine. I wonder what he's doing. I know you're thinking about it because they're thinking about you heavily. And the, the the magnetism between you and them, are it's the same. Trust and believe. Y'all are thinking about each other. If you start thinking about them, they're thinking about you. A lot of times it's because divine masculine can't get you out of their head. So they got you in your head. But remember not to take that information and run with it in a negative way, okay? It says, moving on, you and your divine masculine are moving on to calmer water. You're seeing the light at the end of this tunnel, okay? For this partnership and alliance, you're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Moving on. And then I just heard your divine masculine moving on from situations that don't serve them anymore. They're about to come out of a situation. Here they come out of the tunnel. Remember, like I said, going through something. They've been going through for a while and they're coming out. And this is all for this partnership. This is all for this partnership. So don't deceive your mind. Stop being in your head so much when it comes to this divine feminine. Let that thought of it go. Your divine masculine is getting ready to remove their mask. So give them time to do it, all right? Give them time to do it. And it says the universe. Yeah, the universe is on your side when it comes to this. There's a cycle that's closing. So you close that cycle too. Stop thinking so hard about this. This is your masculine, yes. This is your person. This is your divine counterpart, yes. But don't be tempted to obsess over this, okay? Emotional withdrawal. If you're around a beach, go to the beach. Let go. Release. Release the need to just... <laughs> Grab on because your divine masculine needs to know that that's their, them feeling that. They need to know that their feelings are, they do matter and their feelings are in play here. All right, let's go to a moon card real quick. A moon card, let's see, for the full moon, Father. What do you have for, shut the front door. I shuffle these cards off screen, you guys. And something told me that y'all was gonna get the same card today. So boom, it says stay strong, be a God in light, ground yourself, be love, be love. <laughs> Be love. I love that part. All right. This is your full moon card. This is the moon deck that I have. I bought a long time ago. Four is it's very significant. Four, 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 or eight, 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 divine feminine, because I see a lot of eights here. 
eight here and then eight here the eight of cups which is moving on your person is moving on from a lot of things so just trust that and you be strong be strong when it comes to this let's get a purpose card let's get a purpose card real quick well no let's get tarot real quick and then we'll get five 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 as i said as we get let's get a tarot card then we'll get a purpose card the twin flame what is the card for look at this eight eight of pentacles work on yourself work on yourself and look at these moon cycles work on yourself <laughs> focus on yourself and your work in front of you bible says keep your eyes forward keep your eyes on your own paper right now okay test time eyes on your own paper right now all right eyes, eyes in front that's what i'm hearing okay that's amazing eight 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 abundance is coming abundance 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 that's all i can hear when it comes to eight 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 that's abundance you all and i know when you all get together that abundance comes when divine connections come in oh my gosh because the purpose is so big money just comes money just flows in and father is getting ready to release this i just told y'all in the channel messages claims department hello <laughs> This is such and such. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to collect. <laughs> yeah, you need my information. <laughs> Y'all are about to collect when this connection does come in, okay? Just trust in that. It says, Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. Trust divine plan. This is Anna, the grandmother of Jesus. This is Mary's mother. And look how beautiful this card is. This is your purpose. It's to nurture the world. A lot of people say that um, Anna and Mary came as as people who sacrifice, sacrifice for the benefit of the world. So you feel like you've been sacrificing a lot for this relationship and Father's saying withdraw, pull back, put some of that energy into yourself. Put some of that emotion into yourself. Think about how far you've come. Be prideful. I, I'm, I don't mean be prideful like let your ego take over, but be proud of the moments that you've done and gotten through to get here. Father's saying be proud of that. Be proud of that. Because a lot of times we get accolades and we overlook it. And then he says that motivates you to keep working, keep working on yourself. If you don't acknowledge it, then you can't keep, you don't, you don't understand the, the significance of you working on yourself and how far it's gotten you, Divine Feminine. All right, let's get a twin flame card. And two came in there, both, uh, well, one's telepathic and one is a special oh. message. So we got don't listen to other people, trust yourself to know the truth okay the truth is very important especially during the full moon the truth the truths are going to be revealed and the truth is you know who your person is you know your divine love but you got to trust in divine timing and don't allow people into your conversation when you talk about your divine your divine counterpart and that's serious okay and then it says telepathic messages your masculine is saying i feel you pulling away and it triggers my fears you're leaving me for good and that's why you have to kind of pull back, honestly, because what if this doesn't come in? And I don't mean to trigger any fears in you, Divine Feminine, but what if this doesn't come in? Your life can't stop because somebody decides that they don't want to make the right choices and the right decisions. So you have to accept that. You have to get to a place of acceptance as well. And your Divine Masculine, they have to accept that if they don't make moves, then you'll leave. You can't just sit around and wait. There's nobody in this world worth sitting around and giving your life away. So trust that, okay? Trust in divine timing, but realize that you you can't just sit still. I'm hearing that song, You Got Time. You know that show? What's that show? Uh, Orange is the New Black. You're not in, in jail. You don't have to sit around and wait. Father's not asking you to do that. He's asking you to live your life, okay? So what do you want to tell your divine master while we wrap this up, all right? Eight of Cups. That's the same card as this one. Eight of Cups. It says... I am leaving the past behind. So leave the past behind. That was yesterday too. Letting go of the past. Letting go of the past. Dang, what did I do with that card? Okay. Letting go of the past. Eight of cups. That's the same card. Let go of the past. Release. Go to the beach. Go outside. Release. Self-care is important, divine feminine. Release all of this because that's going to give space for a new beginning. That's what I have for you next week. Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, okay? This is your love reading for today. Now, this is my deck. This is part two, though. This is Twin Flame Oracle part two. All right, so this is my deck that we're going to use today. And then I'm going to add some Twin Flame music to the mix, all right? See what's going on. That's my deck as well, Twin Flame music, all right? And like I said, you know, just see what Father has for us. Let's see what's going on here. Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. Look, payment due. So somebody is long overdue for something when it comes to this love. 
I'm here of equal give and take. Now it's time for you to receive. Whoever's been giving so much in this relationship, whatever it's, whoever's been giving so much in this, it's time for you to receive the love that you need. Not only that, but the financial blessing that you need. Father is saying that it's been long overdue. Somebody's in a mental prison because of this. They know that you deserve everything that you put in. And I'm hearing a lot of it had to do with finances, okay? Another card dropped, but this was fate. And this is fate, your person. So a lot of this had to do with finances. A lot of you divine feminines, y'all gave a lot to your divine masculines financially. And now it's time for them to bless you. They're in a mental prison over this. Remember, they're serving their sentence right now. Karma has come, okay? And the, the wheel of karma has turned. And so now we have justice here. Justice is serving time. Now you're serving sentences, okay? Because judgment has already been called on the situation. But this is all fate. This is part of your destiny, okay? Because when you gave so much, you gave so much, the universe blessed you back. But now it's time for you to actually receive what you need from your divine masculine. And that's got them very much so on edge. Who your divine masculine is worried, they're nervous. Because what I'm seeing here is a lot of you divine feminines, y'all gave y'all last. The last of the last. You might have had $5 in your pocket and that was theirs. So... Now, Divine Masculine is going over those kind of things. They're thinking about it a lot. Look how this looks endless. This looks like up, down, up, down. All you gotta do, all you got in here is pacing, pacing, pacing. So I'm seeing somebody nervous about giving their finances up to help you. But at the end of the day, it's like, you know, they have to find the faith as well, just as you had the faith when you gave payments away, when you gave money away at any standpoint, when you gave time away. It wasn't that you had all the time in the world. It's because you definitely, you know, were trying to help somebody. And now it's time for you to receive the things that you were helping them with. They, got, they are on edge about this, y'all. Divine Feminist, they are on edge about it, okay? It says rent due and thief, all right? Some of you all, your person, you feel like they stole from you. But it's time, it's time, it's time, it's time. I'm seeing too that the karmic situation is it's a lot going on with their finances as well. Don't look in that direction, all right? They tried to steal from you too, but they're, they're suffering for this. Trying to take from you what belongs to you. Remember, nothing is for you would be taken away from you. What's yours is yours and you claim it. So again, some of you all, your, mas your masculine took from you. Seriously took from you. I don't mean open your purse and stole this money. You feel like they just came like a thief in the night and, you know, bamboozled you out of something, okay? It made you feel a lot broken. Shattered. I'm seeing somebody super duper emotional when this happens. That they came in, they got some finances, or they got some of your time, and then they ghosted you. And then they did it again, then they ghosted you. That's a thief in the night. That's what I'm hearing right now is a thief in the night. All right? But that's what made you have to create boundaries because you you had to learn some things from your own childhood wounds, Divine Feminine. And Divine Masculine is learning things from their own childhood wounds as well because you had to learn to set boundaries at that point. And at this point, Father's saying, don't let this person come back in and cross that line again. Your boundary is your boundary when it comes to finances. You can't, you don't have any more to give. You... Payment been due, eviction notice been served, whether it's been taken from you or you gave it away, whatever the case may be. And I'm talking about money and time. I'm talking about valuable things. Time you can't get back. And some of you all, money you can't get back. Money doesn't, you know, I mean, money comes easily. Money flows easily to you. But I'm just saying some of you all lost a lot. I'm seeing a lot of losses. But that's because you were dealing with childhood wounds. You didn't want them to abandon you. So you said, hey, you know, I'll give you some more money if you just stay. I'll give you some more money if you just stay. And they still left. So remember to keep those boundaries up the next time. A father's saying that it's going to be different this time, that they're going to bless you this time. Rejection is God's protection. It is. You might have felt rejected. And that was your childhood wounds, abandonment issues coming up. The father saying that was to protect you, whether you knew it or not. So whatever the case may be, even if they come back and they need some finances, you got to tell them no. You don't have it. Because you don't have it to give. You've given enough. Payment's been overdue. It's just like the bank here. Just like a credit card. The, the credit card is maxed. Y'all owe net. They're in the negative when it comes to owing you. So don't judge the situation. However, remember to still stay, stick within boundaries. And don't forget that rejection is protection. If they leave again, oh well. They still have some learning and some growing up to do. This person feels stuck sometimes. Divine masculine, you feel stuck sometimes. 
You feel like, which way do I go? Which way do I go? You're stuck in illusions sometimes. And Father's saying that he's trying to help you out of it, but you got to keep making the right... Keep making the right decisions is what I keep hearing. Keep making the right decisions because you cannot keep running from your problems. You got to make the right decisions. And you got to start making the right decisions fast. Or you'll be stuck in a karmic cycle forever. And that's what our Father wants for you at all. But that's a possibility if you keep doing what you're doing, you know, in, in the sense of negatively impacting people. Negative, negative stuff here. Because children are involved here. You can't give to children or be there for your child or your inner child if you can't take care of yourself. Taking care of yourself comes first, then your children come next. You see how that works? Because you can't give to somebody what you don't have. So you have to take care of yourself. You have to not feel stuck. You have to take care of your mental, your physical. It ain't always about money when it comes to kids. Your mental, your physical, your love life, all of that has to be intact for these children, for your line, for your lineage. Give me two more cards, Father. For your mind, for your lineage. Okay, siblings might be important. Somebody in your life, divine masculine, that's your brother, your sister, somebody that really, really cares for you, that's helping you through this. That's what I'm hearing. And then I'm hearing that somebody is very, very protected. You're protected in all of this, so don't feel stuck. Don't feel stuck. You are very protected. You are very protected from all hurt, harm, or danger. So speak that over your life. Speak that over your kid's life. And again, get out of unhappy or un bad situations get out of those situations as soon as possible somebody needs to get tested because they were they were had a fear of missing out somebody needs to get tested as well see like i said making bad decisions gets you here you felt like oh i need i need to be out on the scene what else that out on the scene because you had a fear of missing out you want to be in the in crowd everybody doing whatever but divine masculine you're divine you've been called you've been called to be better than that so it's time to get some rest. It's time to, you know, chill out. Stay away from people right now. It's what I'm hearing for you and Divine Feminine. Stay away from people right now. Get some rest. Take a break from the world for a minute. Because when this Divine Connection does come in, y'all will be taking a huge break from everybody. Everybody. I'm hearing love bubble. Y'all will be taking a break from everybody. So get some rest alone right now in your solitude. Father saying, appreciate your solitude right now. And if you do have to get tested, if somebody gave you something confirmation birth that was a test for you as well and that's another reason why you don't need to keep doing the same things you're doing again father protects you password protected he's trying to protect you you got to start listening you got to start listening anyways let's get a song let's get one music card for this love reading for today one song father we need one song for this love reading for today for divine masculine and divine feminine Let's get married. Meet me at the altar in your righteous. We ain't getting no younger. We might as well do it. And feeling you all the while, girl, I must confess. Let's get married. That's what y'all's end goal is. That's what y'all want, okay? He says, so I done it all. And frankly, girl, I'm tired of this emptiness. I want to come home to you and don't hear you. Cause making love to just anyone ain't happening I just gotta be with you And I think about <laughs> Y'all, okay, y'all play that song today That's your uh, divine love song for today And I hope this information helped and blessed Alright, let's go to the next video for the next message Thank you so much for your time As usual, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you Don't forget to lean on your inner circle The people that love you and support you And support this connection people that want to give you the best advice, the people that treat you well. Don't go to anybody that's treating you bad or, you know, creates illusions in your head. Remember to stick with the people that love you and care about you. I don't know why Father's emphasizing that, but yes, that's what I have for you. Let's go to the next video. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Okay, so this is our last reading for today. This is going to be a love oracle combined with the Kipper deck, combined with the angel love cards. Also, I really do want to read this Bible verse because it is the full moon energy. And I want you guys to get the protection that you need. Remember to protect yourself during this time. High, high energy. Keep your spirit and your thoughts positive, all right? So let's see what's going on with divine masculine and divine feminine and love. Let's get another love reading, Father. Love, love, love during this full moon. Keys on a ring. Somebody got options or you've been treated like an option in the past. Options. And then the bottom of the deck is healthy choices. So somebody did treat you like the option in the past, but they're making healthier choices and better decisions this time. They treated you like you were just somebody to just be around. 
just another, just another, you know, strike on their belt is what people say, right? And Father's like, this time is different. This time they'll be di different. Because they're realizing that that didn't benefit them. They, they just slipped up and fallen, fell in love, okay? It says not right now, not today. Somebody wants to give you a call, they do, but not today. Because they're frustrated in love. They're working on it. So give them time to work on it. They're frustrated a little bit. I'm hearing Divine Masculine is frustrated over finances right now. So right now, it's not the time to really be bothering them. They're trying to get their finances in order is what I'm hearing, okay? They do like you, okay? But like has got to be stronger than that. They do like you, but it's got to be stronger than that. Right now, they're not focused on anything but working. If they have kids, they're focused on their kids right now. Um, I can't tell you anymore. Uh, they do have passion for you. They're focusing on that as well. They might be having sexual thoughts about you. Might be having sexual dreams about you. You know, definitely because Cupid's arrow strikes. They've been. They can't stop thinking about you. That's for sure. That is for sure, okay? But the Grim Reaper, the stab in the back, the relationship is over. This has to do with the karmic partner, okay? So this definitely um, had to do with the karmic partner. They stabbed in the back. Somebody stabbed them in the back and now it's over. They're transforming their life at this point. I'm seeing too that, you know, you shouldn't, Divine Feminine don't focus on this. Whatever's for you is for you. Divine Masculine is not even focused on that. So whatever's for you is for you. Don't focus on the karmic situation here. Even if they are still dibbling and dabbling in sex, which I still don't recommend, you can't attach energies like that. Energies are exchanged through sex. If y'all don't know or didn't know, they are. So you can say it's over and then still be sleeping with somebody. I don't understand how that's okay, but, cause it's not, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm not being silly, I'm just saying, yeah, that's not okay. But they're not worried about it. So y'all don't be worried about it. The mom feminine, don't be worried about it. And that's it. That's all Father's got for you. Because I, I didn't shuffle these cards enough. They do want to take a chance. They want to take a risk, okay? They're not showing you their hand of cards, obviously, because nothing else wants to come out. They don't want to say anything other than that. Divine Masculine is definitely just focused on their kids if they have any. Or they're focused on themselves right now. They're focused on their finances is what I'm hearing, right? Give me two cards from this deck. Great fortune is coming in. So great fortune, this is really, really like, like I said, when y'all do come in, when y'all do connect, and then number eight, six plus two is eight, 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 abundance here. When y'all do come in, this abundance is going to come in. So they're focused on their finances, but when y'all do get together, like I said, two people coming together for a divine purpose, money just flows to them easily. So your divine masculine is, is trying to start getting a basis to money. I'm hearing basis, but it's nothing like the money y'all see when y'all get together. Give me one more card, Father, from this deck. Then you got this false person, all right, against this privileged lady. That's crazy. Privileged lady is divine feminine, and then you got the false person over here. So divine masculine, you got to understand that the great fortune comes with the privileged lady. You're divine feminine, not this false person trying to be them. Look how they have different colors on as well. Red represents that lust, that, that sexual energy, that stuff that you just, ugh. You know, that's a throwaway, but you don't, you, you can't say, cause I, I grew up in a, you know, like in a place where it's like, it's like, okay to say, okay, well, she's just a toss up. It doesn't matter. Sexually connecting to a toss up only affects your finances. If you had a million dollars and you were told not to touch on a false person, a false lady, somebody who's just a seductress, if you were told not to touch them, wouldn't you take the money? Would you not just take the money instead of trying to seek fulfillment through something else? So privileged lady comes and right underneath that comes coughing a mature woman. So somebody who's passed on is trying to give you money, trying to give you a, a change situation. Somebody who's passed on, okay, this mature woman is about to bless this privileged lady. Great fortune is here. So divine masculine, you'd be a fool to sit around with this false person and miss out on your on your blessing because this person who's passed on this mature woman this grandmother this mother somebody in the background somebody on the ancestral line is about to bless this connection but they're about to bless this privileged lady so if you're not in the connection don't matter if y'all you know because the connection is still going to be strong whether you're together or apart but don't matter if you're in the picture or not if you're energetically there if you're not physically there you're gonna miss this blessing and good luck trying to tap into that afterwards that's what father's saying because this is creating a change your divine feminine is about to change their lifestyle. Divine feminine, your lifestyle is about to change. It's about to be something dropped on you that you didn't expect. All right? I'm hearing expectations. You didn't expect it. But it's definitely coming for you. It's definitely here for you. 
Right underneath that is the is the wealthy man. Look at that. That's crazy. The wealthy man is right underneath that. And right underneath that is high honor. So like I said, the change only happens when these two people get together. This privileged lady and this wealthy man get together. I don't know if you guys can see these cards or whatever. But it's because the spiritual realm holds y'all in high honor. This change is necessary. They're trying to bless you because of your bloodline. You have a lot of purpose in this life. Bigger, bigger, bigger than you. Bigger than you understand. You don't even understand because people that get in divine connections, they are very, very blessed. Because, you know, people get together every day and they get married every day. But I'm talking about these people that have to go through a long separation period. They have to learn through mistakes, hard life lessons. You're blessed because not only are you blessed because you went through something and got out of it, but you're blessed because... Um, you can testify. Your testimony is so strong that you can impact a lot more people than somebody who just, oh yeah, that's a cute love story. But no, you done been through the wire. So it's time to complete this love story is what Father's saying, all right? Let's get married. Like Father said. All right, let's get one for Divine Masculine. Let's get one love card for Divine Masculine. That's beautiful. But again, Divine Feminine, don't wait around for that decision because either way, you're blessed. All right, keep that in mind. Either way, you're blessed. This great fortune is falling on your head. Divine, ma uh, Divine Masculine, Father, give me one for Divine Masculine. Give me one, uh, what is this, angel card for Divine Masculine. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations, okay? This person has changed your life, Divine Masculine, because this is not your usual type. And then we also got children aren't important. Your love life is being affected by children. This is not your usual person. Your Divine Feminine is not usually your type. But they still have your heart. They still have blown you away. And you like the differences. Whether you know it or not, it sometimes scares you. But the differences are very important to you. You like that they're different than the people that you... Even different than the karmic. You love the fact that they're different. And they motivate you, okay? So understand that. And then the children are an important part of this. I keep saying that. They're an important part of your legacy and your purpose and all of that. So make sure you're making the right choices. Not just for yourself, but for your legacy, for your children, for your lineage. You've been chosen to be in a divine connection, and that already alone is beautiful. Give me divine feminine. Ooh. Wedding. <laughs> Look at that. But it says love yourself first. It says this situation involves marriage. Divine feminine, so trust that. But remember, you got to love yourself first. Whether or not your person comes back, whether or not they make the right decision or not, whether or not they take their time through life, and you just, you know, you can't wait around for this wedding or this proposal. Divine Masculine feels you pulling away. He feels you just deciding, okay, let me love on myself. Because when you start loving on yourself, you start to explore different aspects of life and understand that this is not the end-all, be-all of love. You hope that it comes back, yeah, but it doesn't. it's not going to break you if it doesn't. Don't be broken by this. That's what Father is saying. And he's also saying, you know, this is going to be worth the wait if you want to wait. But this, it's, it's just wrong to keep somebody in waiting and longing for so long. You know, so father understands and he's saying, love yourself. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So loving on yourself, taking care of yourself, self-care is very important. Let me get one for both. Give me one for both. And that's so crazy because wedding came and I'm married. Meet me at the altar and you're all right. Just, all right. <laughs> all right. One for both. It says trust. And then it says chemistry. There is chemistry. It says there is a strong magnetic attraction here. It is. All right, and then it says, trust, the situation is calling you to have faith on both ends, divine masculine and divine feminine. And look at these two people. It look like they're getting married or something like that with this baby. Y'all, I can't make this up. Anyways, that's what I have for you all. Thank you so much for your time. Go to JustDreamGuide.com to book a personal private reading. And remember that my full video will be on YouTube soon. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know it was a bit longer today, but, you know, the message is the message. Thank you. Hearts, hearts, hearts. See y'all next time. Hi everybody, welcome back. So I forgot to tell you about Psalm 91. It's a protection prayer that I always pray during the full moon. Well, I pray this often, but definitely around the full moon because the energy is high. And of course there's spell work that's been done all year on people and things like that. And this is just super added protection. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowler snare and the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. 
A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say the Lord is my refuge and make the most high your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all ways. They will lift up their hands so it will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. So that's what you have, you guys. Psalm 91, and as you can see, there's a storm coming as well. Okay, so there's a storm brewing here, out here. So that's just important. You know, sign, 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 sign. And then there was fast-paced energy moving around. Man, all right, some things are happening. Some things are shaking up. So I thought that was just very important. Look, very, very important fast-paced action. Very important for you guys to know this. For you to speak it over your life. Remember, open your book, Psalm 91. Recite it. Keep that. Keep it covered. And also remember to, you know, ask Father to be your refuge. The angels are helping you with this. Remember, the battle is not yours. It's the Lord. So leave it up to him. Thank you. That's all I have for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.